Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to paint these easy Christmas watercolor stockings. Let's get started. Before we start painting, I am going to show you how I drew out my stockings. So first I took a ruler and I'm just going to draw a line down the center of the page. So just wherever you want that mantle to start, and just draw a straight line. And then what I'm going to do is find the center of that line and that's where I'm going to put the middle stocking. So I just kind of create a loop for what would be connecting it to the mantle as like a hanging piece. And then I create just like a curved, so a rectangle with curved edges. And then I just bring down either side and you're just gonna kind of make a boot shape. You want the foot area to be a little bit more rounded. And that's it. And then you just kind of go to either side, make another loop shape, and then add on a rounded edged rectangle. Go down, kind of come out with an ovalish shape and then just bring it over like a boot. And the best part about stockings are that they're not gonna look completely perfect and they're all gonna hang a little bit differently. So it's okay if they don't all exactly match or if they're not all the exact same length. So this was a very quick, rough sketch just to give you an idea of how I'm basing it off and how I drew my stockings. I am going to have my line be my base for my pine needles and I'm just going to have this center area be where the pine needles start coming um, to the right and then also they'll break away and come to the left from that middle section and so that'll have a really nice effect with the watercolor. All right, let's get to painting. Now that our sketch is in place, we can start painting in our stockings. So I'm gonna take my size six round brush and I am going to take the smallest amount of Payne's Gray and I'm going to make a very light mixture of it. And I'm going to use this to just add shadowing to the top part of each stocking. So I want this to just appear like a shadow to make it seem like this area is that white, fluffy um, material. So I just put it on the very bottom of each stocking and I'm going to take clean water and then I'm just gonna blend it into that clean water. So there's no harsh lines, but then you're still gonna be able to tell that there is gray at the bottom and then it's just gonna blend upward. And we're gonna do that with each stocking. So I'm just gonna come around this side and then along the bottom. And then I'm gonna clean my brush, take some clean water and then blend that gray into it. I'm gonna add a little bit more gray to this one. And then I'm gonna do it one more time to that last one. So again, just along the edge the very bottom. And then take that clean water. And then blend it together. All right. 
Now we need to let this step dry before we can move on to our stocking colors and even to our pine needles. Now that the top part of our stockings have dried, we can go ahead and we can paint in each stocking. I added a couple striped lines to the center stocking to act as a guideline for adding stripes later on. So we're gonna start with that middle stocking using a crimson color and we are going to paint in every other line with the crimson paint. And then we can go to the other stockings, fill those in while the center one dries. So just follow those guidelines. And we'll go back in and add a little shadowing detail later. And you can use whatever colors you want. I am using red and green just because I want it to be as Christmassy as possible. but you can do whatever kind of stocking color you like. Maybe you have a tradition in your home. And I'm just using the tip of my brush to really get that fine line. And there we have our first stocking. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint in this entire stocking, so the far left, with that crimson paint. So just take a nice medium wash, just an even amount of water and paint, and just fill in that entire stocking sketch we put in place earlier. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more pigment on my brush and I'm gonna drop it in right at the top to give a natural shadow right underneath where we put the white part of the stocking. And I'm gonna do the same thing right here and right here. And then when we come back in with that other color, we'll tap it in as well. All right, now I'm gonna clean my brush off and I'm gonna dip it into my greenish blue paint. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing we did with this one. I'm just going to paint in the entire right stocking with this green color. I will have all of the specific paint colors I use listed over on my blog. So if you'd like to know the exact colors I used and the mixtures that I made, you can head over there and I will have all the details listed over there. But feel free to do whatever colors you have handy. and then we're gonna take a little bit more pigment and we're gonna tap that in right underneath that gray white layer. Just like that. And then 
This has for the most part dried, so I'm gonna go in with my green color. And I'm just gonna be careful not to really let them touch too much, just because I can tell some areas haven't dried all the way. And just bring that up. So we're just coloring in our stocking sketch. And I'm going to do it right down here. Follow that curved line, kind of filling in this area. Just like that. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to draw three circles in the center of our soon to be mantle. And these are just going to act as ornaments. So in the center, I'm going to draw a large circle and then next to it, a small circle and then again, a small circle. So right in the center, and then I'm going to use my small detail brush, and I'm going to pick up some yellow ochre paint, and I'm going to fill in these circles, leaving just a little bit of white space Just like that. Just to kind of give the appearance of some ornaments in the center. You'll need to wait for the ornaments to dry before you can move on. I just took my heat gun and quickly dried my ornaments so that I could go right ahead and start painting in my pine needles. So I'm gonna take a little bit of sage green and ultramarine blue to make a very bluish green color. And then I'm going to start applying that along the line, just like I've shown you in my other videos when I've created pine needles. All you have to do is do quick line motions, angled at a side, and it will create the look of pine needles. So I'm going to do one there and then I'm going to branch off. I'm going to do one pointing up, leaving white space in between each of your quick lines is very important. You don't want it to feel like just a green blob. You want to see the different pine needles coming off. So just kind of have fun putting these in place. We're going to do the left side facing the left, and then we're going to add the right side facing in the right direction.
Okay, and there's our first side. And then just turn your brush, um, your paper, and then you can start on the right side. And you can do this in any order. I'm not really following much of a pattern. I'm just kind of going with the flow and kind of just seeing where I feel like it needs to have a little bit more pine needles and which directions to go into. And just like that, we have our other side. I'm going to go back into my left side, and I'm just going to add a few more of those pine needle branches. Just where I kind of feel like it was a little thin. Just like that. I'm going to do a couple coming out of the ornaments as well. Just like that. Now we just have a few remaining details to add to our stockings to finish off this painting. So I'm going to go back into my crimson paint and I'm going to do a very dark mixture and I am going to connect this stocking with that red paint to my mantle. So I'm just going to go kind of through the pine needles and just attach it like that. So the first line I did kind of went behind the pine needle and then the t one farthest to the right is going to go over it. And because of the mixture that I chose, it's going to be a darker tone, so it's going to be less translucent and it's going to be more opaque, so it's going to cover it a little bit better. And then I'm going to use that same mixture of red. I'm going to do the same thing with this middle stocking. Just like that around those ornaments. I'm going to clean my brush off. And I'm going to go into that green mixture. And I'm going to do the same thing. And with this green mixture, it was a different tone than the one that I did with the pine needle branches. So it will still layer on top really well and really show, still be able to see it. I'm gonna add a little bit more pigment of that red. Just make this farther line a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to take a very light blue paint and I'm going to use this color to kind of bring out our stockings. So I'm just going to go around the perimeter of each stocking. I'm going to take that paint off my brush, get some water. I'm just going to blend this out 
just kind of give it a very loose background and just still make it feel though like it's popping off the page. So I do not want this paint to be on top of my stocking. I want it to just frame it behind. So be very careful not to get this on your stocking. I'm just gonna bring that out and around. Take some clean water on my brush. Just try to blend that out as loose and light as possible. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that pigment and just kind of tap it in around where I just added that clean water. Just again to give it that glow. And then I'm gonna take clean water and I'm gonna apply it all around the other two stockings. Cause I want that blue to get put in place a little bit more loosely than it did with the first stocking. So I'm just gonna apply that water first. And I'm gonna take some of that pigment and I'm just gonna tap it in around my stocking. So up here as already drying, I'm just gonna take that clean water and blend it out. go back and around the back side of it and underneath all right then we're gonna do it one more time so clean water all around the stocking and then go into that blue paint and just let it get tapped in around. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend it out. and then we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back in and add some splatter to our painting. All right, last but not least, we are gonna add some splatter to our painting. We're gonna take our round brush and we're gonna fill it up with some crimson paint first. And I'm just going to splatter closely around these stockings. Then I'm going to dab off that paint on the green one. Add a little bit more just around it, but not really on the green. I'm gonna clean that brush off and then I'm gonna dip it into the green paint mixture and then splatter it very closely around the stockings. And since a lot of that green didn't get on my red stocking, we are good to go. And there you have some easy watercolor Christmas stockings. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. 
If you'd like any extra details on how I painted these watercolor stockings, head over to my blog, Reflecting Creation. I'll have a link in the description box below. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.